name is Dr. Gwendolyn Riddick. I'm a board certified obstetrician and gynecologist. My decision to become a doctor was driven largely by my family and my faith. I love um, spending time with my family, specifically my two children, Anaya Riddick, she will be 21 in November, and my son, John Powell, he is eight months old. I was a teenage mother, and so I love being able to counsel my patients who are younger in regards to their obstetric and gynecologic health. This is the story of Gwendolyn LaVon Riddick, a compassionate woman whose life was tragically cut short. At 40 years old, she held a respected place in her community, working as an OBGYN at UNC Health Rockingham Hospital. On a serene Sunday, her life would take a tragic turn while at the park. Gunshots shattered the tranquility, leading to Gwendolyn being found wounded beside her car. As detectives investigated, they uncovered deep-seated conflicts between her and John Michael Powell, the father of one of her children. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Eden, a serene city in North Carolina where the tranquility of life was shattered by a tragic crime. Gwendolyn LaVon Riddick was a dedicated obstetrics and gynecologist who left an indelible mark on both the medical field and the lives she touched. While she was based in Chesapeake, Virginia, her affiliation extended to prestigious hospitals, including Centara Halifax Regional Hospital and Chesapeake Regional Medical Center. Dr. Riddick's dedication encompassed a wide spectrum of care, from comprehensive prenatal support to adolescent gynecology and minimally invasive surgeries. Gwendolyn Riddick's journey into medicine was driven by a profound aspiration. She attended medical school in Virginia after her 2004 graduation from East Carolina University. Her commitment to her profession was unwavering, with her most recent position being at UNC Women's Health at Eden, a clinic under the UNC Health umbrella. Dr. Riddick's legacy extended beyond her professional accomplishments. Described as much loved, she brought a sense of warmth and compassion to her interactions with both colleagues and patients. Her approach to care was holistic, reflecting her genuine concern for the well-being of each individual she encountered. As a mother and a medical professional, Gwendolyn's life was woven with threads of love and care. Her tireless dedication to her patients was matched only by her devotion to her family. A woman of resilience and empathy, she embraced her role as a mother with the same vigor as her medical career. Gwendolyn LaVon Riddick's life got closely connected with 35-year-old John Michael Powell. They weren't just casual acquaintances, they had a deeper history. The bond between Gwendolyn and John grew stronger due to their shared experiences, most notably their commitment to a child they both cherished deeply. This common link had the potential to bind them together promising a future of shared responsibilities and shared joys. Yet, as time went on, their relationship took a troubling turn. The promise that once marked their connection became clouded by unresolved conflicts and simmering tensions. These disputes were not the usual disagreements that can arise in any relationship, rather, they hinted at a deeper strain, one that often goes unspoken. Their relationship got tangled up with arguments and fights. As we learn more about how they were connected, it's clear that things weren't easy between them, as it is also revealed that they had the child's custody case going on, which hinted towards the bitterness of their relationship. However, soon the once bitter relationship soon plunged into an even deeper darkness. The story of Gwendolyn LaVon Riddick and John Michael Powell took a terrifying turn with a really sad event. It happened at Freedom Park, a place on 121, North Edgeworth Road in Eden, North Carolina. This happened on a calm Sunday afternoon, Around 2.44 p.m. suddenly, there were gunshots, breaking the peacefulness of the park. This started a heart-wrenching sequence of events. The police quickly went to the park because someone called for help about the shooting. In less than a minute, the police were there. The park, which used to be a happy place, turned into a scene of confusion and sadness. Dr. Gwendolyn Riddick was found near her car in the parking lot hurt from being shot multiple times. She had sustained multiple gunshot wounds. The officers provided immediate aid to Gwendolyn until Rockingham County EMS arrived. Despite their efforts, she was later pronounced deceased at 3 p.m. after being transported to the hospital. Sadly, 
Gwendolyn couldn't survive her injuries, a tragic moment that changed the lives of her loved ones and the whole community. Immediately after the shooting, law enforcement apprehended John Michael Powell, a 35-year-old resident of Newport News, Virginia. Powell found himself in a troubling spotlight, attempting to leave the park in his car. His departure was halted by the swift response of the authorities. With no resistance, he was taken into custody. Eden police say a Newport newsman is behind bars for the shooting. 35-year-old John Powell, who is the father of one of Riddick's children, faces murder and gun charges. Angelique Arantak is in studio now to tell us more about who Riddick was. Angelique? I spoke with several people who knew Dr. Gwendolyn Riddick. Our sister station WFMY, based in Greensboro, did as well. Everyone brought up Riddick's caring nature, urge to empower fellow women, and her loving spirit. Eden police say an argument between her and the father of her child escalated into a shooting in the middle of the day at a public park. It's heart-wrenching. Eden police officers say they found 40-year-old Gwendolyn Riddick shot multiple times next to her car at Freedom Park Sunday afternoon. Emma Gaines recalls helping. And as I saw gunshot wounds, I was just holding them with their clothes. Medics also came to Riddick's side and rushed her to the hospital, where police say she died. Riddick worked as an OBGYN at UNC Women's Health at Eden. She started there in 2021. My decision to become a doctor was driven largely by my family and my faith. In a statement, colleagues called Dr. Riddick an extraordinary, resilient, and compassionate woman. When I see Dr. Riddick, I see strong, fierce woman. Assistant Pastor Tara Flint at Trinity Wesleyan Church describes Dr. Riddick as a loving mother and go-getter. Flint is in charge of the daycare where Riddick's youngest child attends. From a pastor's standpoint, we, we have to make sure these children know love. Flint says she and other church members will keep praying and showing support. I know that her children will be loved, they will be supported. According to investigators, 35-year-old John Powell of Newport News and Riddick had one child. They believe, quote, ongoing domestic issues led to the shooting. Eden police accuse Powell of pulling the trigger and trying to drive away from the park Sunday afternoon, but they report catching him on his way out. Again, Powell faces first-degree murder and gun charges. He has no bond, and he's set to appear in Rockingham County Court again next Tuesday. Powell's arrest was a significant development as it linked him to the tragic event that had just unfolded. His swift apprehension outlined the seriousness of the crime, and he was now at the center of an ongoing investigation into the murder of the mother of his child. As the legal process commenced, Powell's connection to the crime was meticulously examined. When they looked into what happened, they found out that this was a unique situation between Powell and the victim Gwendolyn Riddick. Their relationship had a lot of problems, and these problems led to this very sad and violent moment. The investigation indicated that the shooting was an isolated incident involving Powell and Riddick. The two shared a child in common, and the tragic event was a culmination of ongoing domestic issues that had escalated to murder. John Michael Powell faced severe charges including first-degree murder and discharging a weapon into occupied property. He was held in custody without the possibility of bond. The court proceedings were scheduled, and Powell is expected to appear in court on August 8th. In the wake of this senseless tragedy, Chief Clint Simpson of the Eden Police Department released a poignant statement. Described as a senseless and tragic loss of life, the Eden Police Chief expressed the profound sorrow surrounding the domestic-related homicide that unfolded in their close-knit community. He expressed his deep sadness over the loss of life and conveyed his sympathy to the grieving family and colleagues. Chief Simpson also highlighted the unfortunate circumstances of the incident occurring in a family-oriented location like Freedom Park, emphasizing the significance of the quick response by the police officers. He expressed gratitude for the collaboration with the Rockingham County Sheriff's Office and praised the efforts of citizens who assisted during the incident. The tragic loss of Dr. Gwendolyn Riddick, a beloved and highly respected physician, has deeply shaken the community. Dr. Riddick was more than a doctor to her patients. She was a trusted guide through life's transformative moments. Expecting mother, Mackenzie Denson, who was 20 weeks pregnant, spoke about the profound connection she had with Dr. Riddick. Family, friends, it's very close. A lot of people were her patients and knew of her. And 
I just hate it for just being a mom. It breaks my heart for her children. Look, she goes, everything's great. She goes, you're healthy, you're beautiful. You know, she made me feel confident with myself for one. For many, Dr. Riddick was not just a healthcare provider, but also a friend and family member. Her caring nature and dedication made her an invaluable presence during pivotal life experiences. Mackenzie Denson had a scheduled appointment with Dr. Riddick, where she was supposed to learn the gender of her baby, a momentous occasion for any expecting parent. However, the shocking news of Dr. Riddick's passing shattered those plans. When you were pregnant, you know that's the big ultrasound, you, that's the big anatomy scan, you get to see any and everything about the baby, and it's a very detailed appointment. So, I was looking forward to just talking with her, sharing any cares, concerns I had. UNC Health informed Denson that she would now be attended to by a different doctor, leaving her and others in disbelief and sorrow. In the face of this tragic loss, Dr. Riddick's patients and colleagues have come together, leaning on each other for support. The tragic fate that befell Dr. Gwendolyn LaVon Riddick should have never happened. It is a somber reminder of the fragility of life, the loss of such a respected and beloved physician, whose dedication touched the lives of many, is a painful reality. The fact that Dr. Riddick's life was cut short by an act of violence is a stark reminder of the profound impact that domestic issues can have. As we reflect on the life of Dr. Gwendolyn Riddick and the tragic circumstances of her death, let us remember her as a beacon of compassion, a dedicated healer, and a symbol of strength. May her legacy inspire a commitment to fostering a safer, more compassionate world where such heart-wrenching losses can be prevented and where every life can flourish free from violence and fear. My heartfelt sympathies go out to Dr. Gwendolyn Riddick's loved ones, wishing you strength and healing as you navigate this tough journey. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.